I don't know, maybe that's why people say that you can't make it in trading, but because they're just so used to mediocrity, you gotta think outside the box. Mediocrity. Medi <laughs> <laughs> I tried to let you get away with it one time, you, you just kept going with it. I can't do it like every time. It's not democracy, it's mediocrity. What's up, Tim Sykes here with my latest $500,000 plus trading challenge student, Bryce 2 o -E. Did I pronounce that right? Do you even know how to pronounce my last name? 2 -E. No! <laughs> Yeah. Although everyone calls me Tuohe though. To yeah, be fair, what is it? Tui. Like Ratatouille. Tuohe. Okay, we're going to call him Tuohe. Tuohe. He doesn't get a unique name until he makes over a million dollars. To be fair, 90% of traders lose. So $500,000, you're on your way. You're halfway there. Yeah. Like, well, like, you know, when I give you a sandwich, you eat half of it. You always do half of what you're supposed to do. That's cool. Um, we're going to post a link to the first video in this little series that I'm doing with Bryce 2 o -E, And I want you to learn from his journey. Um, you know, he's also kind of like halfway between like, you know, his other college roommate, Matt Monaco, who's at one and a half million, and his other college roommate, Mike, who did nothing and just totally like screwed up his life by not studying. So you're like Mr. Halfway Man, right? You're like middleman. No, you're literally the middleman. Everyone leave a comment below saying congrats to Bryce the middleman. Now we don't have to pronounce your last name, you're just middleman. I don't want to be the middleman. I'm You're not at a million yet, you're in the middle. I am. Out the of the three the roommates, middle. you're the middle roommate. But I'm working to not be the middle. When man. I give you something to do, you do half of it. Yeah, that's you a mistake. You are the middleman. You're the definition of the middleman. I yeah, I suppose. I okay. It's not the end of the world to make five hundred thousand dollars. No, it's not. It's just it's better not. to make a million. And I'm but it's worse to be Mike, <laughs> right? I, I guess so. Why do you laugh when I bring up Mike? Because I feel bad for him. I know he did it to himself by not studying. I simply just, you know, he's. I, I, he's a nice kid, you know, he's a nice kid. I feel bad, but... You know, I he, mean, there's a lot of nice, broke people out there. You can't help them all. They yeah. do it to themselves. You yeah. try to help them learn, but you gotta try to push them. Yeah. Why didn't you try to help Mike anymore? I, I don't Why think... Why didn't you or Matt try to help him? I don't think... Well, that's, it's not that we didn't try to help him, because you gotta remember, at the time, me, Matt... Well, Matt and I together, we were both struggling traders. We weren't... Neither of us were really... Good at this, we weren't profitable consistently. But now between you and Matt, you've made $2 million. Why haven't you reached out to Mike? Oh, we, I mean, we've just simply haven't. I mean, I actually lived with him after, uh, after Matt lived with him for like another month or two. And I was making, I was making money. It just didn't seem like something he wanted to really talk about, you know? So you kind of like. I just kind of, I just stayed in my room and traded for like eight hours a day. And I just didn't really say how much money I made. He never asked? He, there was one day, like, heard, he heard me on the phone. I had my biggest day at the time. It was $4,000. And he's like, hey, congrats on your day. But he didn't really seem to want to talk too much about it. I mean, should we go to, like, where is this? Upstate New York? Yeah. Should we have an intervention and help him? Because out of, like, the three roommates, it's just interesting that two roommates basically become two of my top students. And the third one who introduced you guys to me, you know, is doing nothing with his life. Well, it just shows you know what can happen if you give up on it too early. Yeah, you know, it does. But can we get him back, or is he just a lost cause, like you you think? Well, I don't know if it's. I I I think he's too like very comfortable with his life right now, and you know that's that's something too to recognize, right? A lot of people don't don't keep doing this. They give up because they're they're uncomfortable. Uh, it, studying is uncomfortable. Trading is uncomfortable. And if you're not willing to push through it, you're gonna end up like Mike. <laughs> Damn, Mike. That was, that was cold. Oh my God, I was saying if you- <laughs> Your face get all red. No one even knows who Mike is. Mike doesn't even have the I know money. who Mike he is. He doesn't even have the internet. He has like dial up internet. He can't even watch his video. He's trying to watch it. And they're like, is he saying Mike or Mook, Mook, Like the, the, the compression isn't even enough for Mike. He's still on AOL online, you know? <laughs> It would be tough to be a trader back on dial-up. I traded on dial-up internet. I don't, you know, I don't recommend that. Yeah, I, I would hate that. What if, when's Mike's birthday? Uh, September, I don't. What if we got him high-speed internet and then we could Zoom with him? And it'll be like, like, you know, like touching the screen, like how is his work? And then we can like explain Zoom to him. 
I picture Mike as like, what was that movie? Uh, Encino Man with Pauly Shore and Brendan Fraser where like, Brendan Fraser is like this literally, you know, just caveman, caveman from like thousands of years ago, <laughs> locked in the ice. Is Mike like that? No, no, Mike's very school smart. Okay. Very book smart. Okay. I'm the opposite. Um, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if I can teach you, I feel like I can teach anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. But yeah. No, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm not the smartest. Smartest. Um, and that's okay. No. I'm, I'm fat. I, you know, you gotta be. You gotta understand like your weaknesses. No. But the fact that someone like you has made five hundred thousand, and someone like Mike gave up too soon, doesn't that just seem like an injustice? Yeah, I guess. I guess there's something wrong with the matrix. There's a glitch. Well, I guess it goes to show though that you don't need to be the smartest person to be the hardest worker. Hundred percent. Yeah. So you're a harder worker than Mike. I am probably, I'm one of the hardest workers I know. So we need yeah. to get Mike some ambition. I guess so, Is there yeah. ambition pills? There's pills for everything. I feel like if you just take some pills, like give him some like, you know, modern like medicine can help him or something. Have they created ambition pills before? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are, there are prescription drugs to help you focus more if you've got like ADD. Yeah, does he have ADD? I, I don't know. I really have no idea. <laughs> We're gonna find this, bro. I just don't like it that I taught two of the three roommates and the third probably doesn't even know how much he's missing out. Do you think he knows that you guys have made like $2 million? He, in he like a year? He knows we're doing really well. I don't know how much he knows of... Uh, I mean, neither you nor Matt has really splurged that much. No, we haven't. We so haven't. he doesn't really see it. He just sees that you studied a lot and he's like, I don't want that because I'm lazy. Yeah. Does he play video games? He used to. I don't know if he still does. I haven't talked. This is bad. I haven't talked to Mike in a while. Matt, call him Mike. Call him Mike. Let's we're, call him. We're not calling. Let's call him. We're not calling Let's call Mike. Mike. We're not calling Let's Mike. Call him. I'm not calling this Mike. This is going to be an intervention. I am not it's calling Mike. It's an intervention. Mike. He probably won't even pick up. He's probably sleeping. I cannot call. Why? Because he would be, I would feel way too bad. Okay. He's a nice guy. This video goes for anybody who's lazy. If you know somebody who's lazy, send this video to them because Mike is the one who introduced Bryce and Matt to me, but he fell off. He thought studying was boring. Now his life is boring. He condemned himself to an eternity of boredom and mediocrity. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, and it's... I'm just surprised that you nor Matt really seem to care. Oh, I, I've never even talked to Mike. I have no idea who this guy is, and I seem to care more than you guys. Well, do. I think that's because you're a t you're a better teacher than Matt and I are. You are you've had twenty years of teaching, and that's your twelve years of teaching. Twenty, oh, years, 20 of years of training, twelve years of teaching. Okay, but you. But that's, are you this... and Matt just selfish? No, no, it's not that. It's just you know. Matt has a service yeah. called Small Cap Rockets, which you can click the link for. Has Matt offered Mike a free subscription? No. No, he hasn't. It's, I don't know. I guess it, for me, it's like the, the mindset that when I wanted to be helped, I asked for help. And so Mike's never reached out and asked. And maybe that's on me for I not. I mean, a lot of junkies need help. They don't ask for it. That's what an intervention is all about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yes, yeah. Mike needs an intervention. Mike might need an intervention. Are you starting to realize that? Yeah, yeah. But so, you know, but some people are okay with mediocrity too. I I think that's you know what I mean. Some people are. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's maybe that's why so many people. I, I don't know. Maybe that's why people say that you can't make it in trading, but because they're just so used to mediocrity, you've got to think outside the box. Mediocrity. Medi <laughs> <laughs> I tried to let you get away with it one time. You, you just kept going with it. I can't do it like every time. It's not democracy. It's mediocrity. I'm sorry. I try not to be like the grammar police, but like, I just I told it. you I'm not a smart person. It's okay. I am. Mediocracy it will be a new word after this. But I'm just, it's my personality not to be okay with just letting somebody go. Like, you know, like if I was like in the US Army, it's like, leave no man behind. Like I'm fat, I'm like, leave no carb behind. Like, you know, with Mike, it's just like, leave no student behind. You just left him behind. He doesn't even know what he's missing out. That just irks me. Yeah, it, I, it should, it should. I get it, I get why. 
One of these days, we're going to intervene with Mike. I don't know when, but we're going to do it. This is on our to-do list. <laughs> okay? It's on my to-do list. Are we going to take a trip to upstate New York? Or have him come somewhere else, because I don't want to go up there. <laughs> it's nice in the summers, but... No, I, 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 get where you're, I get where you're coming from. Where can we lure Mike to? Let's lure him to like a vacation and he'll be like, oh, this is nice. And then we're really just going to study. And he's going to be like, it's going to be like a he, like, he likes He likes warm weather. Okay. Beaches. Okay. So anywhere with warm weather and beaches. Fantastic. I love warm weather yeah. and beaches. Yeah, you guys are so going So we're going to lure him and then we're going to show him the outside and then we're going to close it up, put him in like a cell and he has to like study only when he passes a quiz. We'll actually give him the 30 day bootcamp. If you click the link below, Matt Monaco and I actually created the 30 day bootcamp. We're gonna give this bootcamp to Mike to study. We're gonna take him to a place with warm weather and beaches and fun all around him. And he's not gonna be able to leave the cell. I'll work it out with like a local police department. We'll put him in jail. He'll be able to study the 30 day boot camp, have to pass the quizzes before he can leave. You know what? And this is all reminding me, you know, all of this could inspire Mike. Oh, that's what Matt, in the 30 day boot camp, Matt called me the dumbest person he knew. Did that inspire you? That, well, at first, I, I laughed it off. I thought it was, you know, funny, but then I kind of got mad because I was like, he, <laughs> he said that in front of the world. We have, we have sold a lot of 30 day boot camps. Yeah. I had no idea who you were until that I, comment. I know. And then that's, that is actually what drove me to start studying. I mean, I was studying hard before that, but to push it, yeah. I mean, to go double speed. Yeah. And that's really that. Well, you was, still think it's mediocrity. So. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, I'm you not, think the word is hypocrisy <laughs> instead of hypocrisy? You mix up your well, C's and your T's? Yeah, listen, I still might be the dumbest person, but at least I'm not the dumbest person. That's hypocrisy. <laughs> I'm not the dumbest person in broke. That's that's the democracy. <laughs> I have always been so bad with words. I'm it's okay. You said your family is smarter than you, and you might have been dropped on the like the head as a baby. Uh, I think it might have. I think that might have happened. Yeah. Yeah. You I, have like neck pain when you wake up. The my my one of the most recent girlfriends I had. I went to her house and said, "This house is so hospice," and I meant to say hospitable. And I'm, I'm, that that should tell you how dumb I am. And if, <laughs> Does she have like an old grandmother? She's like, no hospice. No, but I said that in front of her family. So that that was a great first Why impression. Why did it work out between you two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. That seems like a great relationship. Yeah, there, as you can see, there are probably some clear reasons. She might've been a little too smart for me. Really? Yeah. But she's in upstate New York. <laughs> We're, you they're, can't be that smart in upstate they're not New York. All, they're not all hillbillies, you know, like some of them are. No, but why would you choose to live in upstate New York? Why do you think I moved? I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The fact that you moved and the fact that these people are still there, that means that you're smarter than them. Yeah. So they're not that smart. I guess. Yeah, they're, they're book smart. Book smart, yeah. Some of them are book smart. I'm not book smart, but I had the common sense to get right on out of there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see what we have to do here. So we have to help a lot of people in upstate New York. I think I think we should do something to those people for the for those people. <sighs> There's a lot of charity that I need to do. Yes. We're gonna try to teach everybody. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad here. Okay. This isn't about hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> this is about what education can do and where it can take you in this world. Look at this guy. Zoom in on this guy. Give the camera a blank stare. Just stare at it. <laughs> exactly. If this guy can make $500,000, understand 90% of trainers lose. But if this guy, wait, give him another stare. Go back. One more, one more. Longer, longer. Focus. <laughs> if this guy can make $500,000, I've taught some crazy people in my day. I'll teach anybody. Click some links below. Let me know if you're going to be a dedicated student. You know, let me know if you're not so into mediocrity, if you're actually into capitalism, whatever <laughs> words you want to say, right? If you want to be a millionario, that's fantastic. Study up, be dedicatio. <laughs> Cheers.